Yo, what is going on, guys? It is. Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy Daisy, also known as Vibe Busy, bringing us a brand new Skate 3 video. As you guys can see by the screen and the title, today we're going to be using mods with Skate 3. Now, if you guys do want to go ahead and do this for yourself, you guys do have to be on RPCS3 or the PS3 emulator and then play Skate on it. Um, it's really easy to install. All you guys have to do is click the link. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And from there, you really just open the folder and it's pretty self explanatory from there. But yeah, so let's just get straight into this. Now with this mini, there's a lot of stuff you can do. Like, just we're just gonna go look through it real quick because there really is a whole lot of things you can do with this. Um, we're just gonna mess around with this because there's a lot of stuff you can do. I, if you guys didn't know, there's a lot of stuff you can do. At first things first, you got Aldi High, which is pretty crazy. Okay, I'm on top of a building, so it's even crazier. But let me go down to like ground level. But you guys can probably tell like this is crazy. So here we go. If you put it on max, this is what it looks like. You can just freaking pop 500 feet into the sky, which is crazy. All right, now we're over here. All right, but yeah, this, I think this is pretty cool because you can just put it like on something low, kind of, and then you can just kind of pop up. I don't know, like I've always looked at this and thought like, oh, well, that'd be pretty cool to hit a trick line with. Maybe if you like put it up and then like lower it back down, like if you were to have a hot key or something, I'm not sure if you could do that. Or like have something like on your keyboard that you can push and then mid like line switch it, that'd be pretty cool. That uh, you can hit these pops and stuff because obviously, you know, if you go for a line like this, where it's just like, all right, let's say I'm going for a line, and I pop up and then I'm just like, okay, that's cool, right? But in the second I want to go do a normal trick, it's not going to be like normal, you know what I mean? That's pretty cool because you can just practice your little revert flips or whatever. This video is going to be all over the place, guys. I'm really just going to be looking at the mini and just kind of messing around with it. But next we got jump height, which is also pretty cool. So you guys can see, you can just increase your jump height. All right, let's, let me put it on max. See what's max. Okay, actually. Okay, max is like 20. Let's see if we can get on top of this building. Okay, yeah, easily. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and I build. Nice. Right, let's put it like on 10 and see if we can make like a jump over here and yeah okay obviously it's actually a pretty cool little spot i don't know has, has anybody ever hit anything off this stuff just have to there has to have been somebody who said something off of this everything's been hit dude every single day i look on twitter on youtube whatever i watch another montage i say this like in every video but people are hitting crazy things that like i don't know how they're finding these spots okay i forgot i had this on <laughs> all right hold sprint button tap left stick oh Old sprint button, tap left stick. Whoa, okay. <laughs> All right, I had to go do something, but I, I don't even remember where I was at. But yeah, that was the run speed. I was just talking about how, I think I was talking about how fast this kid, I don't even remember, dude. I, <laughs> anyways, all right, next you got the boneless site, which is, again, most of these you can tell what they are by the name. So, wow, okay, I didn't think I was gonna go that high. <laughs> That's pretty cool as well. I feel like this also could be used in the line. Like all this stuff, I feel like if you, like piece it together it would actually somehow some way make a really nice trick line or something you could get some pretty cool clips with it oh okay accidentally thing is with the mini since you're using your controller sometimes you can mess around and move it because i've been emoting and stuff and the way you control it is with the d-pad and yeah I'm talking about how this would be like practical and i can't even get up here since i'm not even close enough right. so like if you can midline do something like that and then pop or something i don't know i'm just tossing some stuff out there obviously obviously I don't know how, I feel like it's probably frowned upon because it's probably like, oh, people will be like, oh, you're cheating, it takes no skill, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, people already say trick line takes no skill anyway, so I guess it makes no real difference. But, yeah, that's, uh, what was this one called? Boneless height. Let's do boneless speed now, which is also pretty cool. This one is also, okay, I'm going to say this about like every single one. You could use this one <laughs> practically, like, and just have it on because instead of doing like a speed glitch or something, you could just do that and then you're off. But the problem is, that's the thing you're gonna be using if you're gonna be using like i was saying if you're gonna be using this in like a trick line or something you're gonna be able to every time you do a no comply you're gonna see that you just accelerate and obviously that's not good all right let's put this on max now and see what this looks like okay i did not think it was gonna be that fast all right let's just let's do no flip with it and just see how fast it takes us okay yeah, this is yeah this is like almost doing like a boards man not even it might even be like the speed of a backwards man yeah that's definitely the speed of a backwards man okay spin speed this one's very interesting <laughs> All right, hold on. Right, like I was saying, this is where things get really interesting with the the spin speed. Watch this. Look, have you ever seen anyone land 14 of uh, 43? Oh my god, <laughs> this thing's actually crazy though. Like if you combine this with like uh, all the height and just freaking propel yourself, you can get like easily a 10,000. Let's actually try that right now. Let's go ahead and put this all the height on max, and then let's hit the blue nipple. Oh, okay, never mind. That's not at all what I expected. 
Look at how dumb this looks. Your character literally just flails into the air. Like, you're spinning so fast, your character's body just goes crazy. Like, watch this. 4,500. Okay. I, like, messed up. I, like, landed up there or something. All right, last one. This, this is probably one of my favorite ones. Like, look how, look how funny that looks. It looks pretty clean, honestly, not gonna lie. All right, but that was uh, spin speed. That was pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's look at torp torpedo spin. This one's pretty interesting. This one's very similar to spin speed in the fact that it just literally flows your character as fast as it can. I mean, it is spinning as well, so it's also... Obviously, it's called tor speed, torpedo spin, so it's gonna spin you. But instead of doing a trick, it's when you're doing a torpedo, and yeah, just your character literally turns into like a pair of scissors. Like, oh my god. You can still do it while you're like hitting the ground. Wow, okay. Uh, there's not that much to that one. If you play Hollow Meat, that one's probably something that you can look at and have some fun with. Okay, I forgot I had this on. So it's gonna happen a lot. I'm gonna forget I have random stuff on. Mm, score multiplier. <laughs> let's go ahead and check this out real quick. Alright, guys. So right now we have the score multiplier on. And let's just go ahead and put that on a max real quick. And just go ahead and, you know. I've been practicing my comp skills a little bit. Check me out. Got my give me pop. And just like that, we already broke the world record. That's how good I am. That's how much I've been practicing. All right, don't worry though. We're about to, we're about to drop a, a calm 1.5 million right here. Watch. So we're gonna go straight off into the. All right. Anyways, like I was saying before, the my footage corrupted. Uh, we're about to um drop a calm 1.5 million real quick. Okay. Like 20k drop, some slight off the diving board. Yeah, because I think I need to get like a new SSD or something because my footage just keeps messing up. Like, I, I just dropped like a calm 5 million, but uh, yeah, my graphics card, I don't know, my PC can't handle this, I think. But all right, here we go. We'll just do it again real quick for you guys. <laughs> all right, 115k, some slight 100k drop, easy. All right, see what we can get on this drop. Another 100k drop, so I'm slight. Okay, and we landed that. 431. Y3 Luke, where you at? Voodoo, where y'all at? Got nothing on me right now, bro. Alright, let's see if we can get to a million. If we did vert, we probably could have gotten to it like a lot faster. But I, then I messed up my run. That's how bad I am. I'm messing up my run when I'm cheating. I don't even be able to get a million. maybe we'll see if depending how much each drop gives us 35k maybe 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 nah there's no way oh 40k 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 yes sir one mil <laughs> who you know doing it like me dude i literally just t just increased the, the world record on this map by almost 10 or like 11 i don't know i'm not good at math anyways that's score multiplier obviously nobody's gonna believe you if you use this so don't try to be slick and try to use it being like legit if we put it like on something lower maybe it would be slightly more believable but people know this game is 11 years old people are gonna know you're cheating so even if you put the score multiplier on one people are gonna know like oh what the heck how's he getting that much from only a couple of tricks so i don't even try to cheat everyone in the community will know but yeah anyways on to the next next uh cheat that's everything the adjustables category now we're gonna move on to toggleables toggleables that's, that's that sounds funny Anyways, we're gonna go to no, no fall damage, which this is the one where I feel like I've said this about like seven things already. This is one of the things that I feel like we could actually use in trick landing, and it would actually be pretty cool because there's a lot of spots where it's like, oh, I wish I could land that right there, but it's like you just can't because the physics of the game. And obviously, if you're gonna, I feel like it would be okay, but you would have to say that you're using no fall damage, obviously, because I mean, if you're jumping off of a building and landing and not dying, people might wow. And I guess it kind of defeats the purpose of trick line because you know you have to make a gap or whatever. But at the same time, it's be pretty cool because I mean, again, the game's 11 years old. You have to find something new to kind of do, find some new spots. But yet again, people are finding spots every day, and they're crazy. So yeah, so quick way to show off no fall damage. We're not really in a good place to show this off right now, but um, actually, hold on, let's just jump off of this mountain real quick. So like here. Okay, I had it off. Okay, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> All right. Here we go, let's turn no fall damage back on. Since I keep emoting and I think I keep, uh, or gesturing, I keep saying emoting. I keep doing gestures and it keeps unactivating the menu. So like, there we go. I mean, I don't know, I feel like that would be pretty cool to do in a line. Some way, some, some way, some way, shape or form. God, I cannot speak right now. Um, but I feel like that'd be pretty cool. Like in the downtown area, especially with all those buildings. 
again you could combine like nolly height or ollie height whatever it's called and then just like ollie onto a building take no fall damage like take off ollie height do something on the building jump off of the building land on the street or something and then i don't know you know what i mean there's possibilities are endless with this mod menu really all right next we got foot plant forever and as this as the name states you can literally just foot plant forever or can you <laughs> let's see if we uh, maybe it's the foot bent. let's try to do a judo okay there we go i think it's because i was spinning okay i was about to say i was like okay i just caught this menu lying but okay yeah you can literally foot plant forever i don't know if it works with spinning because like i was saying i just tried to spin with it and it wasn't really working um yeah i don't know i think it's because of like the height and everything but you now we have foot plant no foot plant damage huh i don't know what this one does um maybe this is like uh, i think you can like literally hover over it and it tells you what it does like, i don't know sometimes it tells you what it does but i'm not sure hold on give me a second okay i've said this 30,000 times this one literally everybody can use who makes videos in the skate community and it wouldn't be considered like oh my god he's cheating it literally takes off i'm going to show you guys right now it just takes off when you do this it doesn't have the left stick show and it doesn't have the lens which is really good because if you make videos and stuff, you know, or like make montages, you know how annoying that can be. But yeah, so that's really cool. That's something that's super cool. And I think I'm going to start using in the future when I start going for clips. Because it's going to make it a lot easier on the editor, probably. But yeah. Alright, so I still don't know what no foot plant damage does. Maybe you get, means you can still do a foot plant while you have like speed. You know, you can do like a no comply and stuff. Okay, I think that might actually be what it is. I'm not sure if that was very fast though. Right, this is for sure okay never mind so that's not what it is i'm not sure what that is oh actually i'm stupid i'm stupid it's literally just a few foot plant okay there you go <laughs> okay i was like dude what could this possibly be okay that's what that is okay i'm only gonna start i'm gonna stop going to every single one because some of these are kind of boring like i'll see like calling me timer i mean that doesn't really matter body shadow this one's kind of interesting it takes away your shadow and it just makes your character look really weird when i first act when i first took this off i was like what the heck this looks so weird because, I mean, it, that shadow really does make a huge difference. Because if you just kind of stand there, it looks like I'm almost, like, green screened in. And it doesn't look like I'm here. But you put the shadow and bam, there I am. So, yeah. Okay, this one's interesting. Fly mode. Use the right and left thumbsticks to go up and down. Alright, so here we go. And just like that, we're flying. <laughs> so, this can be used to, obviously, get you into, like, any spot. Like, if you want to get on top of a building or something like that. There's a lot of stuff that can help you get on top of a building. Probably the most effective would be if you use fly mode and use ollie height and just ollie. Put it on max and then you just get on wherever you want. But yeah. Uh, mute environment. I don't even have game sound on right now. So it disables any environment sounds like birds, chirping, like probably like skateboard sounds and all stuff like that. So pretty much just mute, it smooths your game pretty much. Um, unlimited zoom. Let's use zoom far on uh, replays to get a wider FOV. Okay, that's for editors and stuff as well. I'm not sure what that one does. Okay, this is another cool one. Pulsing skaters. A lot of people like glowing skaters and stuff. If you like it, cool. But it's personally not my thing. I like more like realistic looking skaters. Like just clean looking, matching colors and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and put this on real quick. Okay, this isn't even the one that I was thinking of. Okay, this one literally just flashes it between transparent and not. This is almost like whenever you load into like a... Whenever you load back to your marker. Like that transparent effect. But okay. There is one that flashes your skater glowing, that's why, and I got it confused with this one. Okay, so that's my bad. No peds. Okay, that's literally just free skate. Disco skater, here we go. This is the one. Alright, so if you if you get, uh, your eyes get bothered by flashing lights, I'd look away from the screen right now, but this is actually pretty cool. Uh, if you hit a clip with this, I thought that'd be pretty cool. You could obviously, your editor could probably, like, green screen your character out, because it's, like, glowing so brightly that you could keyframe it. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool if you want to just mess around with it and This doesn't mess with my eyes too much as much as other glowing skaters because there's some glowing skaters that are like extremely bright But yeah, let's go ahead and turn that off Okay, no air timer if you guys don't know what the air timer is is if let's say you go into the air for Let's all right. Let's see if we can do it right here first try. We, okay. Nope All right So the air timer pretty much is where you can't be in the air for more than five seconds Like the game just won't allow you to be in the air for five seconds and this is like a big problem with people who go for gaps and stuff like gappers because if you're if you can't be in the air for more than five seconds then there's a lot of places that you can't go so this is something that gappers have been doing i know that people have been going for gaps and stuff with this on and it's not necessarily like frowned upon or cheating or anything because i mean the no air timer nobody likes in skate it's kind of a dumb thing because i mean 
you're like oh my god i'm about to land this i'm about to land this and then you just teleport back to your marker pretty sure we've all had it happen i don't really got to display it but yeah all right that's all the toggleables toggleables uh everything in that category so now let's go ahead and move on to visual mods let's go ahead and move on to the next thing which is field of view i don't think this one works oh wait now it's working okay this actually looks really cool um obviously i think it only works when you're standing though because when you're in your skateboard it doesn't look like it works maybe if you use the high camera but oh no it does work okay i'm done but yeah, and see if you can see if you can make it closer to your oh well you can make it up to 20. Now, this looks pretty cool right now, this actually looks pretty sick because i had used another menu before and the fov look kind of weird but the fov on this looks pretty cool honestly might be a little bit too much right here but this is all this is really cool this is really awesome with most games nowadays you can increase decrease your field of view or whatever so it's pretty cool hopefully skateboard has something like this if you want to get more of a wide shot because i mean this looks pretty clean right here but now now when we go back to the zero it's gonna look super zoomed in yeah this, that's the only downside from this when you go back and you're like whoa what the heck but yeah this looks you can tell the difference and this looks weird now i even haven't played this game for like eight years now this looks weird but yeah, right now i have my brightness on seven because if i don't have it on seven like the white floors look really bright because of my emulator this looks more like what it would look like on console and stuff maybe a little bit too dim i should put it back on six but yeah that's why i did that because in certain locations just the floor if it's white and the sun hits it it's just really bright and you can, it's like you can't even see my skater but yeah transparency where did i go <laughs> you, transparency is something you could maybe also do something funny with if you want to do like a skit or something i don't know I'm telling you dude if you if you make content this mini you can literally give you hundreds of ideas uh, skater glows is also something like we saw before you know it just changes your character except you can choose the color and keep it on that color so yeah we got the red glow skater we got the purple every color you could think of but yeah skater brightness i'm not even going to touch that because i did it earlier when i was kind of messing around with it and i literally blinded myself so just pretty much just don't put it on max immediately is what i'm saying uh, save mods this is coming soon so yeah uh, join the skate 3 modding server i'm also gonna have that in the description because anything you need they're gonna help you with anything you could want is in there it's a really great server but that that about does it for everything in the menu um some of my personal favorites have to be like the ollie height the boneless height and stuff like that like just the speed everything like that is pretty cool and mine on one day could maybe be used in a line maybe i'll make a montage with stuff like using the mod menu or something like stuff with the mod menu that'd be pretty cool but i don't know we'll just have to see i have a lot of cool stuff i could do with this menu and a lot of future content ideas that could be done but yeah for now that's gonna be it um like i said i'm gonna have all the links and everything that you could like be asking for in the, in the description down below i'm gonna have the server i'm gonna have the skate 3 modding server i'm gonna have this the link to download the mods and that about does it for me guys so it's been your boy dizzy also known as vibe dizzy i'll catch you guys in the next one peace